Good with y'all, man. It's your boy Tick, aka Game Fanatic, and this is gonna be my opinions and thoughts and review on Black Ops 2. That bitch rhymed, didn't it? I'm a beast, ain't I? Get the Duke, homie. <laughs> but anyway, man, uh, I got I got to give him a round of applause, man. Got to give him a round of applause to David Von Hart and the Treyarch team. They did a good job. I'm impressed. I didn't think I was gonna be impressed, man. I thought this was gonna be another Call of Duty. And I was going to be like, eh, you know, I've been there, done that, you know, that whole type deal. I didn't think I was going to be super impressed with the game, but uh, this game is great, man. And uh, maybe it's so great because we had Modern Warfare 3 for a year. That game was so garbage, man. It was horrible. If you still have that game, you should trade it in, get some money for it, or break it, doodle on it, because that's basically what it is. Throw it in the toilet, flush it, burn it, do something with it, because the game is horrible. Don't ever put that game back in your Xbox, man, or your PlayStation 3. What am I saying? I might put it back in my Xbox just because I might get bored or something. But anyway, get rid of that game. But uh, this game is great, man. David Von David Von Der Haar and his team, man, they did a real good job. Uh, so let's get on to the review, man. I don't want to keep talking y'all head up about how good they did. But anyway, first things first, man. Um, this game brought the fun factor back to Call of Duty for me. Um, it probably did it for a lot of folks, man. Um. You know, after playing Modern Warfare 3, that, you know, the whole Call of Duty series was dying. Um, a lot of people didn't even buy this game because of Modern Warfare 3, and I, I don't blame them. I was very skeptical. I didn't want to open my game. I was scared, like, man, this is probably going to suck just like Modern Warfare 3. But after playing it, man, <laughs> this game is great. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's difficult. It's real difficult. Um, you die a lot faster, but it seems like you kill people a lot faster now. Some people were saying that it takes a lot of bullets to kill people. Not for me. You can watch this gameplay and see. I don't have to shoot people that many times just to drop them. Um, as you see right there. <laughs> Good example. <laughs> you drop people a lot faster. Um, so the game is very difficult. I mean, the first time playing it, the first couple games playing, it took me a while to get good. This was my fifth game playing, and I actually did a decent, you know, I did a decent job. Um, but man, this game is very hard to play. Watch me, I'll play this bitch right here. Watch this, watch this. Get the dupe! <laughs> but, um, yeah, man, this game is great, man. One thing I like about this game is how they revamped the sounds. The sounds sound so different. This is Treyarch trying to make the game seem different compared to the other ones. Yeah, it runs off the same engine, so it's definitely going to still look the same, but when it comes to the sounds of the game, these sounds have been totally revamped and redone. There's no similar uh, similar sounds that you heard in any Call of Duty ever. Like they're all redone and new. So that was a nice thing that Treyarch. Uh, that was a nice touch that they put on the game. Also, the graphics have been um, improved a lot from Black Ops, and they actually look better than Modern Warfare 3's graphics. So that's another plus from uh, Treyarch. Another thing I like too is the hit detection. A lot of people have been saying the hit detection is messed up in this game. I haven't had an issue at all whatsoever. Um, the hit detection on this game reminds me of Modern Warfare 2's hit detection, um, which was very, very good. It had its little hiccups here and there, but other than that, it was very good. And that's how this game is, man. It's really good. Whenever I shoot at people, I'm hitting them just about 100% of the time. Like, but there are some times when you know the hit detection does kind of screw itself over and. Sometimes I'm shooting and the bullets don't register right away. But most of the time, man, about 99.9% of the time, the hit detection is on point for me. That's just for me. I don't know about everyone else. Their connection might not be as good as mine. But me, I'm not having a problem at all with it. Um, another th One of the, the problems I have with the game, though, is... Uh, now, I said I like the... Did I say I like the maps? Well, no. Let me talk about the maps. The maps are actually great. I do like the maps of this game. Um, I like the design that they did. Uh, the maps are very good. There's a lot of different areas you can explore and go through to get to whatever location you want to get to. It's not so linear like it used to be like in the past games. But a lot of people say, well, that means it's going to be a lot more campers. Which is you know, it's probably true. But I haven't had any issues with it at the time. Um, at the moment. you know, I, it, Since there's so many different routes you can go to get places, there's so many different routes I can take to get to that camper. I mean, just about every window has a place where you could jump up and then jump in. I mean, you could basically climb on everything in this game, which is very good. Um, so, you know, I like the whole map designs and everything like that, and the kill streaks and everything. That's all good. I love it. 
Um, another thing I like is what if, what Treyarch did was they took something from another game, which was home front, and put score streaks and point streaks in the game. Um, and they did a good job with it, man. Um, this time they didn't innovate, but they still kind of innovated at the same time for Call of Duty, that is. <laughs> and this time in this game, man, this time around, you have to play the objective. Playing the objective is key in this game, man. If you want to get your score streaks, you have to play the objective. Now, me, I'm going to be playing a lot of Kill Confirm because uh, that seems like the best game uh, mode to play to get your higher kill streaks. Now, any other game mode, you might as well run low kill streaks. They're going to be more key for you because it's going to be too hard to get points um, in order to get those high kills, uh, score streaks. So, if you're playing kill confirm, yeah, run high score streaks. You have a better chance of getting them. Anything else, lower score streaks. Um, and I like the whole point system thing you could do. You could, you know, decide to get a, give away a perk to get another attachment or some other things, man. It's, it's just great. I like the whole... You know all the options you could use for your character to uh, go out and dominate on some little new kicks like him but um yeah it's great man I, I I'm enjoying this game right now I'm not having any issues whatsoever with it um except for the whole head glitching thing and that's what I want to talk about yeah the, the, the maps are cool but the maps have a lot of head glitching areas that you can you can head glitch on and that's the main issue I have with the game um, and you know there's ways of fixing that you know you can actually make headshots one shot kills or you can make it that they're two shot kills or make it that the upper body takes more damage because that would you know eliminate that whole head glitching idea because people wouldn't want to do it because if they get shot in the head they'll die a lot quicker so that's the only reason why people do it because they know that it's a slight chance that they'll die from getting hit in the body or the head so that's my only issue with the game other than that it's strength like I'm having a ball with it but um get to do homie um the game is great man so leave some feedback on what you think about the game man i think the game is great it might be the best call of duty since black ops to me even though you know my favorite call of duties it would definitely be the first call of duty and call of duty 3 would be the second best and i would say this one would be the you know third and other than that no other game uh call of duty would be on that list so Leave some feedback on how you think the game is, man. The game is great to me. I'm having a ball. If you have any other questions about the game, please ask me. But this is your boy Tick, aka Game Fanatic, the Michael Jordan, the gaming, and I'm gone. Bye.